Thank you, Adrian. So could you move to the first, the next one? Yeah, okay. So those were our main sprint goals. Uh, as you can see, we didn't perform very well this this is last this is last spring um mostly because uh testing uh the testing the well the qa process is a very intense and large process but in any case um i can say that we integrated the last accessibility minor fixes but we are going to be doing additional work to improve the app accessibility in the next version um we also um integrated and deployed the biometric login solution and i will show you a few screenshots in the next slide later um regarding the qa we are at 85 percent so we have only a few remaining issues uh, sorry test to complete everything is looking good so far so i think that maybe tomorrow we have finished the qa process and then we can start with the the release uh, regarding the release we already released the beta versions of the 4.1 version and i recently posted in the qa forum at moodle.org as well so people get notified about this and i think that we have around 14000 people with the beta versions installed so they will get this update automatically um and they will be able to report any issue uh, using an, an spreadsheet that we usually share with them. And once we've completed the release, the remaining issues, as you can see, are mostly about uh, inter, uh, um, documenting everything, uh, updating the user and development docs uh, regarding the release, and also doing a small release for the workplace app with some minor improvements. And after that, uh, we will do a round of uh, project weeks. And uh, I think that it will happen during the end of the, well, not December, because I think that most of the people are going to be on holidays, but after the um, Christmas and um, holidays. Uh, so if you can move to the next slide, please, Adrian. Uh, uh the, the quality is not very good but uh you can see this is how the uh, biometric and face and face id thing works on the app that basically is like it's the same uh, workflow that uh app happens in, in banking apps that you are you can use your fingerprint or face face id to automatically log in after a logout from 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 the app and yeah that's basically it. So thank you. Any questions? <laughs>